Hello students. So today in the language part, that is English language part, the new explanation that I am going to have about question tag. You might have learned about the question tag, but however, the question tag is suppose that it is very confirmed to whom that you are speaking and listener that makes you confirmation. Suppose that you will be going to a school tomorrow is a regular routine. It must happen. So after finishing your class that you speak to your classmate. Like, hello friend, you will come to the school tomorrow. It is very sure that he or she that your classmate or will come to school tomorrow. However, that is 90% that you are confirmed. That regularly, if we are healthy, definitely tomorrow I have to go to school. However, to make the confirmation from other classmates or other somebody. So for confirmation that is the small words using the helping verbs and the models accordingly. If suppose that tomorrow you will come to your school so that the word will is the model. So that models helping verbs also to be used in the question tag and plus that is that always that the pronoun should be used. Apart from this, there are two kinds of the question tag that we have to follow. One is the positive sentence that is affirmative sentence and for negative sentence. These two sentences are only to be used in case of the question tags. So if it is positive question, yeah positive sentence, then negative question tag should be added. So that is the word and OT not should be written along with the helping verbs or the models. And that word not should be written in concise manner. As like the word not should be written in concise manner. Like N apostrophe T. In this manner that the word should be indicated. If it is negative sentence, then Positive question tag. I mean that this negative word that it should not be used. So there are some structure of certain rules that we have to follow while making the confirmation from others. So this is called actually that the question tag. So in this question tag, a clue that I am in this question tag that a clue that I am going to give you that is question tag is generally used when we want the listener to confirm what we have said. No. 
for your better understanding that what it is written question tag is generally used when we want the listener to confirm what we have said it means that it is very confirmed that in the future or something like that it is going to happen suppose that in case some emergency comes and whatever so so in a normal circumstance if somebody is speaking to someone only to make the confirmation and this small the question tag should be used so certain rules that we should follow like if it is positive sentence if it is positive sentence then negative question tag should be used means an ot not in a concise manner that it should be attached with the question tag next if negative sentence is there then positive question tag should be used next always use helping verb or models always use helping verbs or models for question tag always use pronoun which kind of pronoun that is the personal pronoun like i we you he she it these are the personal pronoun that should be used for the question tag so this is very important always use pronoun for question tag this is very important that we have to look for that always use pronoun while that you are using you are asking the question the question tag in a very short form that you have to write that's all only to make the confirmation then for the word not and what is not that if you are using negative question tag so for the word not and apostrophe t in a concise manner that you have to write that and then apostrophe t is used so these are only that the rules the structure that we have to follow now let us have the examples
Da. He is a good boy. Comma, dot, 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 dot. Then question mark. You see, this is a sentence. He is a good boy. Which sentence it is? It is an affirmative sentence or the positive sentence. And here that you have to fill up. The first that helping verb or the models, you are already that looking over here, is that is a helping verb. So first you write down the helping verb. Then this is an affirmative sentence. So negative question tag that you have to use. So along with this not should be written in a concise manner altogether. Isn't. And then after the pronoun, already pronoun is here. Subject as a subject he. That pronoun should be so this much only that the question tag should be written according to the sentence. Like the full sentence, he is a good boy, isn't he? So of course that one hand, he is a good boy, no doubt. However, that the speaker actually wants to make confirmation from the listener. So that this the question tag should be used. Now for another example. Sita is not going to school. Sita is not going to school. So this is a negative sentence. If it is negative sentence, then the positive question tag should be used. So that negative word and what is not, it should not be written. The only that the helping verb or the models. You are looking over here, is is a helping verb, that should be right. Each, that's all. And then after the pronoun, so now see that the Sita is now as a subject. What will be the pronoun of Sita? That will be she. Is she. It's very easy to pick up the helping verb or the models from the sentence. By looking at this, that you have to act accordingly. Only in case of the two tense that we are unable to find that what exactly that the you that is the helping verb or the models to be used for the question tag. One is simple present tense. And for simple present tense, if it is a sentence like Sita cooks rice. In this sentence, do you see that any helping verb? No. Like is MR or was well or do does, anything that helping verb is not used. Then what helping verb or the model that should be used? You know very well for simple present tense that two types of the helping verbs are used, which is fit for. So the does actually that it is used for he, see, it. He means like Ram, Jam, Gopal, whatever it is. She means like Rita, Gita, Sita. Mary and it is used for the animals, birds and the non-living non things. So that the does is used. 
So now this is an affirmative sentence and you don't see any helping words in this. So you have to choose that. And since it is an affirmative sentence, not also should be written in compiling manner. That's it. And then after pronoun, Sita is noun. What will be the pronoun? She. So in case of simple present tense and in case of simple past tense, you will not get especially for affirmative sentence, you will not get the helping words or the models. But rest of all the sentences, rest of all the tense, whatever it is, that helping verb or the models will be given to you in the sentence itself. By looking this, that you can make the use of that. Now another is, that is called the simple past. Like Sita cooked rice. This sentence is from simple past, and here also that you do not see any helping verb. So, in case of simple past, helping verb did is used. So that should be written over here. The first helping verb, did, and since it is a positive sentence, not should be written in concise manner, like didn't, and then after that the pronoun, so here is noun, and this pronoun will be she. So the question tag will be didn't see. See the book price didn't see. These are the structure and the rules that you have to follow for the question tag. Now for better practice that I would like to give you some questions also so that you can have a practice at your home. The appropriate question tags for the following sentences. Didn't come home late. Next, he grows food. for the country. Next. They haven't had tea yet. Next.
tegun Mundo Price Next, they won't help us. They won't help us. Jack and Jim didn't pass. Next, we ought to. questions that I have given to you for your better practice and you will gain the knowledge that how to use the question tags. The rest all that you have the textbooks with you or that you have the language books with you. Refer it. Do the practice and gain the knowledge. This is also very much useful while speaking as well as for writing. Thank you.